Hey everyone, those of you who will remember the PSP will remember it fondly, hopefully. Uh, it did have some good software, especially towards the end of its lifeline. And I thought we'd just show how the HP Stream 7 plays the PlayStation Portable emulator, because it is a very good um, emulation of that, that device. And it has, it's one of the few emulators out there that had some uh, forethought for tablets. And its tablet interface works great. So I'm not going to run the tablet interface, so... Uh, with the overlay, overlay, sorry for the touch screen. Um, I've got an off-screen game controller here, and we're just going to run that. I just want to show a quick demonstration of it. I've just got a couple games here loaded up, um, so we'll just do that. I won't put it in full screen mode because uh, we want to make sure that we have access to the um, the menu if I need it. But anyways, it does work fantastic in full screen mode. It looks great. There's a couple little bars up in, in uh, at the top and down at the bottom, just because the screen ratio uh, is stretching a little bit. But one of the great things about it is you can set it so that it does HD resolution. And that's what I've got set out here. There's a couple settings. What I'll do is I'll package the emulator up for you, and uh, I'll put it in the link and uh, that should give it the best settings, at least the ones I've, I've uh, tested out. So we'll do a quick little demo of Little Big Planet here. Move my mouse off the screen. As you can see, there's a couple bars that it shows up with. So the speed indicator is up in the top right-hand speed, and that's the speed at which it is playing the, um, the PlayStation uh, emulation. So at least with the little big planet, you get uh, you know very proper emulation of the of the device. Some of the other games you need some tweaking, and in, in some at least on the HP Stream Seven. The emulator just doesn't have enough, enough brute force to uh, to do it. You will experience some slowdowns, which aren't that bad. It's just the sound that it gets really hit. Anyways, I'll just play this for a minute and you get an idea. Anyways, there, well, um, I'll just finish off with uh, the big planet here. But as you can see, it does a quite a good reproduction of uh, of the PSP on this. Of course, it is an emulator, so there, you will find some games that just don't work very well on it, and that's just to be expected. But sometimes by playing around with the settings for emulation, um, you can get a little bit better. But uh, I guess worst comes to worst, if it does some uh, some frame skipping, you can just shut the audio off and uh, enjoy it that way. Okay, so with this, I'll stop the emulation and we'll just load up another one quickly. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, for those of you who remember the PlayStation um, series, it was a, a, a great 
RPG by Square Enix. Rather uh, an interesting one as it combined the Square characters and their own characters and Disney ones. Um, so, actually, you know what? I'm going to start a new game. Go to quick and easy mode because I'm not, I'm kind of staring off screen. I just want to see if I've got the settings right so that you don't hear the uh, the audio skips. Now this is a a great RPG. It, it's you know I I guess uh, Kingdom Hearts either you like it or you you love it or you hate it. I guess <laughs> maybe you hate it or you love it. But they did have decent stories, although a little bit cryptic in their in their portrayal of what was going on. Square did uh, an excellent job of bringing PlayStation 2 graphics to the PSP. And like I said here, the, the settings that we've got up for this emulator actually has HD graphics with it, so it's above what you saw on the PS2. Or the PSP, sorry. You can set it so it's all blocky and it looks just like a, a PSP blown up. But this emulator is excellent in that you can set it so it does the, uh, the proper rendering with the screen resolution. As you can tell. I'll shut up. Keep an eye on the yes. speed indicator at the top. Hear a little bit of the audio skipping. It's not bad. Don't worry about me. You two focus on the exam. But Ben, you're in danger here. Go wait in your room. No way. I'm looking forward to this. Seeing you two become masters. Not gonna miss it. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Now, sometimes in a transition in this game, it will, you'll see the frame rate of the speed drop, rather. Um, but as long as during gameplay, when there's a lot of activity on the screen, it doesn't do it. It's uh, pretty smooth. I'm trying to get used to the controls here. Remember, 
there are no women, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Again. <laughs> and occasionally, there you go. Occasionally, some of the glitches that show up in this game is the lighting model pops off screen. Um, usually, it's only momentarily. I haven't played much of the game, but at least during the cutscenes and uh, some of the world travel, you'll you'll notice it. Uh, I have noticed some audio missing or skipping too. But again, it's an emulator; it's not perfect. came from the emulator, apparently. Anyways. Sorry. If you actually play on your own uh, home PC and you uh, you turn off turn off some of the bead stuff, it does work quite well. Okay, there's my phone. So uh, with that, thanks for watching. Take care.